we back with another video. Let's get straight into it, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Before I get started, hit that like button. Hit that like button. It's free. Do it for me. Like, hit that like button. It helped the channel grow. So if you really support the channel, what up, gang? I'm back with another video. Your boy Julio Fulio, man. I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory on Julio Fulio just in case you don't know who Julio Fulio is. Julio Fulio is a Jacksonville rapper. Yes, a Jacksonville rapper who's right now known for the song When I See You. He did the remix of um, Fantasia. When I did eat on his birthday, four shot, three dead in the worst way. He kept this on me. What happened? Now we smoking 23. Responding to uh, Young and Ace is another Jacksonville rapper that he's beefing with. Uh, who I smoke? Who I smoke? Baby, who I smoke? Who Dinky? That's his biggest song that's going around. And these guys have beef with each other for the ones who don't know. A lot of people do, a lot of people don't. These guys have beef with each other. And both sides is killing each other. Like, this ain't no fake beef. This ain't no industry beef. This ain't no, no. These guys have multiple songs and getting making money off these songs talking about their dead homies. Like 20, at least 20 people from each side have died. Like this ain't no fake shit. Like the other rappers we were talking about ops, that's invisible ops that we don't even know about. No, these guys is actually dead. Who they rapping about? These guys is actually dead. And Julio Fulio, it was a temp on his life last year. Where, or the beginning of this year or last year, where he was coming out of the studio with some guys, started shooting at him, he shot back. Police was called. He got a gun license. He's certified. So he had to call the police. Make the report, show his gun, make sure he didn't do nothing wrong. All right? So it was a temp on his life. Then the police get behind him one day to try to pull him over. He take the police on a high-speed chase. He get away. The next day, they pull up behind him, stop him. He cooperate and stop. Now, I say the reason why he ran the first day, yeah, he got gun license. But he probably had some kind of drugs or something illegal in the car. Or one of his homies had an illegal gun or something in a car. So probably that's the reason why he ran the first day. But the second day he's clean. He have nothing to worry about. He stopped. But he has a, a, a warrant for his arrest for fleeing the loot in the police the day before, right? Now this is the part that don't get me. That I don't get and, and puzzle me. When they pull him over and put him in handcuffs, the prosecutor of the court came to the scene and told the police be careful he's dangerous he's gang related and all that first of all how will a prosecutor of the court the prosecute how the prosecutor of the court know that he got pulled over how the prosecutor of the court know where he was how the prosecutor of the court got to the crime scene in minutes this ain't this ain't seeming right guys like tell me how if anybody know and can come with a a reasonable answer for me put it in the comments how you get pulled over at 245 the prosecutor of the case pull up at 250 five minutes later and tell police and stuff you dangerous gang related and etc and give them insight on what's going on now that ain't the kicker the 
proper cause or the reason why they tried to pull him over the first time when he ran. Because they wanted his phone. Because they believe it may be evidence in his phone that can be used to solve some murders or some gang violence that been going on in Jacksonville. Now, this is the first for me. I never heard this shit in my life. So you mean to tell me the police got the right to pull you over and take your phone because they know who you are and they think they think you might have information in your phone of any murders or gang related crimes that happen in Jacksonville when the fuck this like I never heard of this I never heard of this gang like, make it make sense. Make it make sense. They say the proper cause of they stop or they attempt to stop him the day he ran was to apprehend his cell phone. This man is not on trial for, for no case. He's not going to court or been subpoenaed for no kind of case. How? Only thing he's going through is the last thing that we know legally is when they shot at him. So you mean to tell me he was the victim? They tried to kill him and they want his phone because they believe that it's evidence in his phone that contains or may contain details of murder or gang related crimes that have happened, conversations or something. When have that been legal? Now, I know YNW Melly, for example. When my YNW Melly was arrested and accused for killing his friends, they ordered and had a warrant signed for his phones so they could pin the towers. They could see was it any conversations or phone calls made during the time of the murder. Okay, so I understand and I know that they can get your phone and look for evidence in your phone. But don't you have to be involved in something? And don't they have to have a proper cause for having that idea that it may be evidence in your phone? So only thing we know of just the beginning of this year or last year, he was shot at and he shot back. So you're telling me that since he got shot at, y'all think it's something in his phone that can help y'all solve murders in Jacksonville? Or tie him to gang related crimes that happen in Jacksonville. And he's the victim. Mind you. It's traffic stop shit. Now he's in court going to court right now. He They're doing pretrial now. The video just was released of him doing pretrial. On a traffic stop. Where he fleed in the loop. On a traffic stop, prosecutors want to bring in gang experts. Gang experts for resisting arrest, fleeing the loom on a traffic stop. Why? Like his lawyer say, I, I don't see the relevancy of these witnesses coming. Why would gang experts come to a traffic stop? situation well all he did wrong was flee it in the loo he ran from the police so what would be relevant in the gang expert what they gonna say oh he's a part of this gang he's he's he talked about killing these people or these people dying what that gotta do with him running from the police 
after they tried to stop him in a traffic stop. We got to make it make sense. How did this prosecutor know he was being pulled over? See, Julio Fulio might have not recognized and I don't know how, if he have. But they playing a dirty game with him. They playing a dirty game. It's a lot of illegal shit going on. But y'all tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on for the notification. It's free. Do it for me. Okay. What up, gang? Hey. I dropped them. The link in the comment section. Make sure you go get them. Y'all said y'all wanted them. Y'all were hitting them fire emojis. Y'all kept hitting me up, man. Where they at? I'm, I'm a cop. Where they at? Where they at? The link is in the comment section. Go hit that link and go buy your merch, man. Go get it. Hey, listen, I'm going to do something. I just, first off, I want to say thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for the support. I didn't expect to get the feedback that I got when I first posted them and I asked y'all. They fire a shit. And everybody said they was fire. Go get your merch. Go get them. First 10 people purchase a pair, screenshot it. Send it to my DM on Instagram. Hey, I'm going to put y'all name in a hat and I'm going to pull it. It only going to be one winner though. Put your name in a hat and I'm going to pull it and it's going to be one winner. $200 cash prize. $200 cash prize and I'm going live and I'm going to pull it straight out the hat so y'all can see. Pick somebody so y'all can't say, oh, that's somebody he know and all that. Nah. Go go get it. Go get your merch. Screenshot it. Send it to my Instagram. And in five days, I'm going live. And I'm picking a winner to win $200. Hey, we're going to do this every month. We're going to do this every month, gang. We're going to do this every month. I'm going to just start doing giveaways to show y'all that I appreciate the fact that y'all support me. Let's get it. Go get them. Link in the comment section. Go get them. Hey, and I got another surprise coming. I got another surprise coming in a couple more weeks. I got something else finna drop. And y'all gonna love it. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Comment. Subscribe. Go get that merch. It's free. Do it for me. Promo alert. Listen, gang. I'm doing $20 promo. $20 promo. I've been doing promo for a lot of people. And, hey, I'm talking about people been getting good results. A lot of people been hitting me up saying thank you for the promo. I'm seeing the traffic that's coming. Now, listen. If y'all seen my old videos, y'all know Music 101 is my official page. Music 101 YouTube is my backup page. Both pages have been deleted. Both pages have been deleted. Deleted by Instagram. I don't know why. I don't know why. Now, I need y'all to go follow me on my personal page. And if you need any promo or anything, hit me up on my personal page. For some reason, you have to follow me to be able to hit me up in my DM.